Something many people don't think about when they look at anything man-made is what it takes to manufacture all of its different parts. Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo, where today we'll be going over the manufacture of some steel components. If you own a nice pair of rims on your ride, stick around. Daiko is a Korean engineering company known for developing spring manufacturing equipment. Generally, spring manufacturing starts with a computer-controlled coiling machine, which strains the fed wire and then molds it into a spring. The heavy-duty springs are composed of extra-hard steel. Thus, the steel wire for such springs are heated to about 1000 degrees Celsius before being coiled. This allows them to be pliable while still not melting. The spring is then placed in a quenching oil tank to cool, which improves the spring's strength. It then moves through a tempering process that further enhances the metallic strength. The manufactured spring has to pass several quality tests. Scragging is one of these procedures. In this process, the spring is completely compressed to see how much it can sag and how much height it loses. Then it is powder coated to make a strong protective surface. Finally, the spring is labeled and put in a box to be shipped. Daiko offers different manufacturing lines for round bars, leaf springs, and coil springs. The company also designs fully automatic plants for the mass production of stabilizer bars, torsion bars, and precision springs. Starco is a multinational tire and wheel manufacturer headquartered in Denmark. The company specializes in polyethylene tires and wheels, and it is, in fact, the largest producer in this regard. Here the manufacturing of polyurethane wheels for wheelbarrows is going on. Generally, pallets of synthetic rubber are blended with different ingredients and then heated to the melting point. When the composite gets liquefied, it is then injected into a mold which cools down and hardens after some time. This formed structure is then cleaned, finished, and put into another mold to give it a puncture-proof tire. These wheels can better absorb shocks and are lighter in weight, and last longer as compared to pneumatic wheels. According to the official website, the company produces more than 750,000 wheels a year, from 4 to 18 inches in diameter. If you've been feeling like you've been missing out on cool rims, wait until the end. We'll be showing you just how they make steelies. In this clip, you will see how different types of casters are manufactured in Blickle's factory. Casters are similar to simple wheels, but metallic parts are attached to them. This metal part is called a fork. It is made by cutting a thick plate of steel in the form of a circle. A pressing machine then molds it into a fork shape, after which holes are made with the help of a press cutter, so that it can be attached to the equipment with nuts and bolts. After this comes the middle part of the wheel, i.e. the rim. Multiple metal sheets are rounded and welded together to make it. Robots do all of the welding work. Finally, it's the turn of the polyurethane wheels. A worker pours liquid polyurethane into a mold that holds a ramp. On cooling, this plastic adheres to the rim and takes the wheel shape. After that, the outer part of the wheel is laser finished. Finally, the bearing and fork are attached to the wheel. But that's not all. These prepared casters also have to pass a variety of quality tests. Blickle has been manufacturing these casters for decades. 
Currently, the company has more than 1,200 employees globally, and it has the capacity to produce more than 8,000 different types of products per day. Lastly, we take a look inside a steel wheel factory. The production starts with a metal plate. It is molded carefully according to the required diameter to give a rounded cylindrical shape. Then both ends of the ring are welded. This process also includes trimming the remaining slag and planishing the weld seam. The next process is called flaring, in which both edges of the rim are curved. After that, a roll forming machine is used for the symmetrical roll forming of wheel rims. Another component of the steel wheel is the steel disc. The disc is fitted inside the wheel rim so the whole frame can be connected to the vehicle hub. Once the frame cools, it is cleaned and immersed into a solution for the painting process. At last, the tire can be inserted. Make sure you comment down below how your rims compare.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.